Uh, well, joining me now, or joining us now, is Devin Galani, who's a director of the uh, Policy and Practice Think Tank and uh, was an architect of the gov- government's universal credit policy. Uh, Devin, a very good morning to you. Good morning to you. Is this, is this welcome? I mean, it was capped at £26,000. Is it now looking a bit mean to cap it lower? So I think from a political perspective, it probably is, is welcome. It's one of the Conservative Party's most popular policies. I think it, it was polling at 80% plus um, when it was first introduced. I'm not sure how... I think when you, when you look at how reducing it will be received, I think we need to look at the impact that it's going to have on, on people. So uh, by, by that, I mean who's going to be affected and how they're going to be affected. So in London... We know that we've seen families with um, two children being affected by, by the benefit cap and obviously with a lower, with, with that falling, uh, even more families with two children will be affected by, by the benefit cap and, and whether or not that's the intent is, I suppose, one, one question. But it's going to affect more families. And how they're going to be affected is another important question. So you mentioned um, Ian Decker Smith's figures showing that actually fewer people are now affected by the cap because uh, some are... Uh, a number of them have, of those families have moved into work. I think that's a good, a very good outcome. Um, at the same time, I think it's been being pushed as a, as a money-saving measure, and I'm not sure how much money the policy is actually going to save. Um, I think that's because what what people don't always realise is when you do cap, when you do cap benefits, the, the burden then falls on the local authority to house the families that are affected, and sometimes that those housing costs. Uh, in terms of rehousing them, can be actually quite high. But um, there there so may like, well be, though, uh, Devon, uh, people listening now who are earning less than £23,000 and living in London and uh, supporting themselves. They may be getting some in-work benefits, but probably not very much uh, at, at that level. And they'll be saying, I don't care. If you can't afford to live in London, you can't afford your family to be in London, then there's an option. Move out. Absolutely. And that's why it's a, that, that's why it's a very popular policy. So I'm not, I'm not kind of... Uh, I think... The, the policy is is a good one in that it has had some positive impact. So, so more people are moving into work. It's been reasonably well, well received. When we've worked with local authorities that are implementing it, we've seen more support go to those families that are affected. I think lowering it further um, does pose some questions because ultimately the families that are now being affected are, are, are those that are having to... Essentially, it's not the family's fault. It's the fact that housing costs are so high that they're being affected by the, by the cap. And what that says to me is that, actually, if you really want to do something to help, not just the families affected by the cap, but all, a whole range of people renting privately in, in London, you need to look at the root cause, and that means building more houses. Devon, what, about the, actually, what about the other policy that they've, sort of, they've, they've twinned with this, that um, they're going to take away um, um, youth uh, and employment support for people between the age of 16 to 21, and after six months, they effectively have to work for the community in order to get benefits at all? Yeah, I mean, again, politically, I think the tagline that's attached to this is, is quite a popular one. So, earn or learn um, is 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 what is what's described for for those those that are under twenty five. That stands to lose. Again, you also have to look at the practical impact. So, a lot of people, um, a lot of young people uh, living in London, working, trying to find work, um, who lose their job and find themselves in a difficult position. When I talk to those organizations that are there trying to support, support these support these young people they may have moved from other parts of the country to live in london they might now have to move back um quite simply and I, i'm not sure whether the long-term benefits of implementing a policy in this way outweigh the outweigh the uh, outweigh the, the savings that they're hoping to, to deliver devon uh, galani director of policy in the practice think tank thank you very much well join us call-